If you are wondering what Audacity 3.2 will look like, I have good news. You are now seeing the Audacity 3.2 interface with its changed functionality. The beta version is released, so you get to test the features that will be in the final release of 3.2. Please note that you are seeing the exact interface and features you are getting in 3.2. The only change you will get in the release of 3.2 is all the features will be tested well and expected to work. The icons and the organization of all these tools and toolbars are new. A new audio setup option will let you set the playback and recording devices. So you will set the microphone from here for recording. Basically, what you got through the device toolbar is now in a compact version. The device toolbar is still accessible through the toolbars. By default, it is unchecked as we are getting the compact version. I will hide the device toolbar and will be in the default new look. A completely new share audio button which I will discuss in a bit. The recording meter and the playback meter have got a slightly new look. You can adjust any toolbar by dragging and repositioning as before. A new addition to these meters is a slider-like icon. This icon on the playback meter will let you set the volume level during playback. You can double-click and see its current value. You can also adjust the slider here. The recording meter slider works similarly to set the microphone recording level. Let me record something quickly and adjust the slider. When set to zero, we see nothing gets recorded. This can be adjusted to reach the desired level in the recording meter. A much anticipated feature in Audacity 3.2 is the real-time effects which can be accessed through the effects button inside the track. You can add new third-party effects from here. Both free and paid plugins can be added here. Let me open a new project and add some real-time effects there. I think this is the most important thing while recording using the Samsung microphone. I do not need to be very close. So. Okay. I have some Accusinus effect installed which can be added in real time. I think this is the most important thing while recording using the Samsung microphone. I do not need to be very close uh, to the microphone. On, on. You can add as many effects as you want. These effects can be reordered and can be disabled. Crossing out this effects panel will take you to the track information panel, but the effects will be there as you leave those. I had hoped Audacity default effects would also be in the real-time effects, but it seems we have to wait for that sometime. Currently, Audacity is pointing to some free effects that do the same job as the default effects, so let's see what happens in the future. Share Audio is an entirely new feature that lets you share audio through audio.com directly from Audacity. You can have an account on audio.com and link your account. Audio.com is still in beta, but it is mainly an audio sharing platform. I think it is a cloud platform that will enable smooth contributions among collaborators. Continue will start the upload process to audio.com and you will get a share link after completing the upload. I do not intend on sharing anywhere, so canceling this. Besides all these features, I see a new menu in the tools. It is EQXML to TXT converter. I am still unsure what it does but I hope it is something to share EQ preset conveniently. We will know about that when the documentation becomes updated. I see the same effects we got in earlier Audacity with a new real-time effects menu. I hope the release version will become available at the end of September or the start of October. Thanks for watching and see you next.